And, you know, it didn't take long to start getting auditions. Um, I got a manager, eventually got an agent. And uh, I tried a lot of things. I had a friend in class that told me uh, you can make some extra money as a model. And I went and met this guy at this modeling agency. And uh, he told me before he accepted me, I had to take my clothes off. And I did. I didn't take my underwear off. I had a friend who went later by coincidence. He took his clothes off and I think he actually like had him feel his balls or something. But that was around, that kind of stuff. But I don't know, I guess you get used to it. LA was the place to go. I had those visions. I knew LA was the place for me. And everybody else was acting. So I thought, you know, why not me too? Why not give it a shot? And if I was going to give it a shot, why not try as hard as I could? This is probably ideal preparation for creating a different kind of painting. One made up of portraits of his own image, but as performances of a Franco from a parallel reality. Some of the footage was later used in Franco Freaky, uh -huh. a film collaboration with the Inolds. It played with the boundaries between Franco's paranoid uh -huh. character on that show and James's celebrity status in the real world. Yes.